page 106, how we work the steps. <clears throat> when we work the 12 steps, we learn to walk a spiritual path. Our ability to share our thoughts on spiritual principles with another person is a powerful gift of recovery. Helping our sponsees to work the steps enriches our own spirituality. In many ways, these principles are basic elements in establishing and maintaining healthy relationships with our higher power, ourselves, and another human being. Quote, my sponsor has helped me to see that relationships with men have caused me a lot of problems in the past. She has helped me with my decision to stay away from romance until I have worked through the steps and have my higher power as my first and most important relationship. Close quote. Another quote. At one time in my journey, I was feeling spiritually inadequate, frustrated, and alone. I met with my sponsor and read to him what I had been writing for the past couple of days. It was intense and it hurt to let out those feelings. I was judging my insides by outs others' outsides and I knew it. After li listening to the reading and letting me pour out my heart, my sponsor assured me that if he believed the solution to my insanity was anything other than the 12 steps of NA, he would let me know. I took that to heart and moved forward. I knew all too well the alternative. That was four years ago and I know today I'm never alone unless I choose to be. Close quote. Another quote, working the fourth and fifth steps with my new sponsor was scary at first. I already had done the steps with two past sponsors and had received a lasting sense of freedom. But my life was still being run by my desire for social acceptability in the program, and my walls were still blocking me from intimacy. My disease also was still active in my life, but in new and uncharted forms. When I was writing my fourth step using the NA Step Working Guides, I had to depend on my new sponsor and my higher power for support, empathy, and unconditional love in order to take this searching inventory. The words my sponsor said still ring in my head. Let go of the old. You need room because the new you is moving in. Close quote. Page 108. Recovery is a highly personal experience. As sponsors, we each have developed our own way of working through the steps with our sponsees. Some of us utilize dictionaries as well as the various tools of the program, such as the basic text, It Works How and Why, and the Narcotics Anonymous Step Working Guides. We may also ask sponsees to write about certain passages from these texts and other NA literature. There are audio versions of NA literature to assist those of us who are physically challenged or who do not have strong reading and writing skills. Many of NA's texts and pamphlets are published in a number of languages. If we are willing to make the effort, we can find a way to work the steps and understand the NA program. Quote, Whenever I've sponsored someone who doesn't, need read or, who doesn't read or write, I rely on the use of tapes. First, I have my sponsee listen to the audio version of the basic text. Then I tape how I want my sponsee to do the assignment. I give the tape to my sponsee to complete by recording her step work on the tape. She can always rewind the tape to the beginning if she needs to be refreshed about the assignment, which is why I record the assignment at the beginning of the tape. Close quote. Another quote. I only sponsor addicts who are willing to keep moving through the steps with me. I believe it is integral to their recovery and well-being. Close quote. Another quote. My sponsor teaches me to work the steps. She learns how to do so by writing them with her sponsor. She is, opening, she is open to deepening her own experience of recovery and does not act as if she has got recovery and no longer needs to grow, even though she is 24 years clean. My sponsor has a beginner's mind, and seeing her willingness inspires me to have the same attitude. We have been together for over 10 years. I have seen her continue to change and grow through the years. This gives me hope that I can do so too. I try to pass the concept I've learned, concepts I've learned from her to my sponsees. Close quote. Page 109. The process of working the steps together can make it easier to develop trust. Some of us have found the key to building this trust is open, intimate sharing between sponsor and sponsee. A sponsor's honest self-disclosure can help the sponsee to gain confidence in the sponsor's directions. Quote, I used to find it difficult to let my sponsees know that I had experienced some of the same fear and shame that they were feeling. I thought I was supposed to act and be perfect at all times. It was only through talking with my sponsor that I learned it was okay to have the humility and honesty to be who I am and to share that with my sponsees. Being vulnerable takes a certain amount of risk, and I learned that working the 12 steps from both the sponsor's and the sponsee's point of view helps both of us develop and deepen our understanding and trust. Close quote. Another quote. Once I was able to talk about personal things with my sponsor, I found myself getting more and more comfortable with her. It was only after I started to trust her that I could begin the process of writing on the steps. Close quote. Another quote. At first, I had a power struggle with my sponsor when he gave me direction on working the steps. I wanted to select which step to work on and when to work on it. He said that I needed to stop trying to be my own sponsor and not try to control the process of working the steps. 
He then said that there was a reason why the steps were numbered 1 through 12. Trust the process. Close quote. Page 110. Others of us find that disclosing too many personal details when helping sponsees work the steps might cause uncertainty regarding the role of a sponsor. We do not want to dump our own problems on those we sponsor, nor do we want to dominate the conversation. If we spend too much time talking only about ourselves, then we may take the focus away from our sponsees. Part of developing a sponsorship relationship is to encourage our sponsees to share their experiences. Each sponsorship relationship is unique, and we must determine what will work best for us on an individual basis. Quote, Developing new sponsorship relationships hasn't always been easy for me. Encouraging my sponsees to share honestly and freely has sometimes been quite challenging. There have been times that I have felt as if I were pulling teeth. But time and experience have taught me that patience and loving prompting are the keys that unlock the lips and the heart. Close quote. Another quote. As a newcomer, I'd call my sponsor for support. and She'd spend so much time talking about herself that I didn't get the opportunity to express my needs or to get the guidance I wanted in the steps. I got impatient and found another sponsor. My only regret is that I didn't talk to her about my frustration at the time. Close quote. A number of us have developed sp specific methods we, we use when guiding sponsees through the steps. Some favor a detailed and methodical process, assigning sponsees to write at length on each step and principle, while others will not expect such a structured approach. As stated earlier, some members will use dictionaries to help clarify certain principles and concepts. Many of us have prayers we say before or after step work. It is important to remember that we do not all approach the steps in the same way. Page 111. Quote, when I was new, there was no step guide. Back then, every sponsor had a different way of working the steps. When I finished the steps, I was shown a way to work steps 10 through 12 on a daily basis and how to incorporate them into my life. Every couple of years, I would do another fourth step, sort of like a tune-up. Recently, I got a new sponsor who asked me to start at the beginning with the NA Step Working Guides. As I went through the first couple of steps, I started getting resentful. I felt that some of the questions were repetitive, and I worried that using the workbook might take away some of the personal guidance I value so much in the sponsorship process. However, I have come to learn that this program is about change, and if I still want this thing, I must be willing to take new direction and to accept change. I have continued to learn about myself and my relationship with God and others in this new process. Close quote. Another quote. When working with my sponsees, I have them write on each step. When it comes time to get together and work the step, instead of having my sponsee read what he has written, I sometimes take his writing and read his words back to him. This gives us both a very different perspective and has proven to be a powerful and effective way of sharing our experience and enhancing our relationship. Close quote. Another quote. I help my sponsees with a fifth step by always saying a prayer before we begin and then relating my fifth step experience with my own sponsor. I tell them about the feeling I went through as a sponsee sharing my most intimate experiences for the very first time. Before my sponsees begin reading their fourth step, I ask what feelings they are going through at that very moment. That seems to help relax them. I try to be as honest and open with my sponsees as I want them to be with me. Close quote. Page 112. Another quote. In the eighth step, I ask my sponsees to make a list of persons they have harmed, taken mainly from their four-step inventory, and adding anyone who wasn't on that inventory who they feel they've harmed. I ask them to pray for guidance while making the list. Then I ask them to put the names of those persons on index cards with a brief description of the harm. We then go over all of the cards. We look for patterns of repetition and for any harms they might be taking more responsibility for. We look at the amends that can be made right now, the financial amends, any that cannot be amend, uh, made, and uh, any that need to be postponed. We talk about them in detail and always remember that a higher power will guide us in making those amends. Close quote. We become willing to change and begun, begin to see that if we do not change, our recovery will stagnate. One of the gifts sponsorship offers us is a new perspective on our others and ourselves through our shared experiences with the steps. When we watch a sponsee grow, we become inspired. We learn to trust our higher power more. Explaining the principles of the program helps us to better understand those principles ourselves. Quote, when I had about nine years clean, I found myself in turmoil at my job, one of the best jobs I ever had. I had been there for three years, and my character defects were surfacing pretty strongly. I resented my boss and co-workers, got angry whenever they asked me to assist them, and was beginning to express that anger passively and inappropriately. After several run-ins with my boss, I realized I had to change something or I would lose my job. I had worked through the steps several times in my nine years clean, but it was time to work them again, this time focusing on my work relationships. 
I did a fourth step on all my work history, and then I worked steps five, six, and seven with my sponsor. She lovingly guided me to look at my character defects, and I began to see how I could change with the help of my higher power. I was able to see clearly my part and begin the process of change. I am happy to say that after about six months or so, things at work got much better. When I finally left that job for a position in a field I had always dreamed of, my boss was honestly sad to see me go. She was happy for me and she said, and said she had seen so much change in me. I never had worked the steps through a work situation like that before. What a miracle. Without the help of my sponsor's unbiased opinion, it would have been just one more job I quit, one more uncomfortable situation I ran from, and one more opportunity to see myself as a lousy worker. Close quote. Ending page 113.